Hey guys, how's it going? It's my birthday today. Yep, I'm turning 36 years old this year. And so far it's been a pretty chill birthday. Nothing too exciting because, of course, you know, it's not like I can go to the shopping mall or do anything because of what's going on. But it's still been a good day regardless. I'm taking a quick, like, five, ten minute break just to address you guys. I didn't make any content for today. I left today completely open because I was going to take the day off. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I might as well just do a, a thank you message to everybody that has ever, no matter who you are, come to the channel within, you know, the last few years or whatever. I When I first made this channel, I just kind of made the intent of just wanting to be like the people I watched on YouTube when I first started. You know, some of my favorites were Irate Gamer, AVGN, Gaming Historian, uh, Happy Video Game Nerd, and so forth and stuff. So I feel it's been a pretty good little blessing uh, even getting the opportunity to have a platform to make content you know no matter how big or small whatever it is pick up videos uh, vlogs let's plays live streams reviews anything like that it's a true blessing that I've had the opportunity to do that because coming out of it I've gotten to meet a lot of people made a lot of friends uh, that you know I've made lifetime memories with I mean for God's sakes I got to be part of a movie out of this, and I've gotten to go all over the country, you know, Portland, Philadelphia, uh, <laughs> Oklahoma for a convention, uh, Georgia or South Carolina not too long ago, um, Game On every year. So I've had a good opportunity. California, I got to actually live in Los Angeles for a good year, um, you know, helping my buddy with his app. So I've had quite a bit of experience and in, in getting to meet people and make relationships and uh, just meet a whole bunch of people that I wouldn't have ever gotten to um, know at all if it wasn't for something as simple as a YouTube channel. So honestly, I'm very grateful for it and uh, I, I look forward to see what happens the rest of this year, if not five years from now, because I, you know, I had no intent of, uh, of anything beyond just doing a, a simple, well, you know, video series and stuff. And, you know, the channel sure has had its up and downs, but it is growing monthly. Uh, if you look at the views monthly, it's becoming, you know, steady, going straight up. That arrow is going up. And, and for that, I'm like, wow, and, and incredibly thankful for, for any kind of iota of support because, honestly, um, you know, donations and P.O. boxes and Patreons and channel membership and stuff like that, that doesn't mean anything compared to anybody investing any moment of their time. So you guys that come and leave a like or even a dislike or comment or, you know, watch my live streams, even if you just tune in for like a minute, that's time of your life, your precious life that you could never get back. And to me, that's more special than any kind of monetary compensation. Compensation. I'm sorry, I'm fumbling over my tongue here. But yeah, you know, it's it's just been so great. Everything, you know, aside from what's going on this past year, um, 2020 so far, you know, has had its up and downs. But I've I've grown to appreciate a lot of the smaller things in life. You know, family time, um, going outside, doing yard work. I've, I've, I've freaking have started a lawn project, for God's sakes. My front lawn, I've been uh, trying to, um, you know, weed eat it and uh, fungus, like, prevention and bug, you know, like, the, the chemicals. And, like, I'm, I'm literally taking care of my lawn now to make it grow because it's, it's, it used to not be the prettiest lawn. It kind of started to fade away because we've lived here for so long and some missing pieces were there. So we planted new grass and I've just been taking care of it and trying. It's kind of like a, a weird old man project, if it makes sense. Like I'm super fascinated in lawn care now. I have no idea where this came from, but I never thought it would be like where I have this thing where I, I enjoy taking care of the lawn. <laughs> and I, I don't even know why I'm sharing that. But it is just something that I've been doing since, you know, um, the free time, especially the summer, taking care of the lawn, taking care of my father, um, having family time, learn how to cook certain recipes. Um, I've started getting to yoga. I've actually dropped about 20 pounds within this last seven weeks. 
Um, I've been doing the low carb diet and stuff like that. Getting flexible, my lower back and my legs feel a lot better. I'm gonna put my leg behind my head one day. Watch. I, I posted a video on Instagram. Just been doing yoga at least three to five days. Usually Monday, Wednesday, Friday I do my workout, but now this past week I did Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, Friday on it. You know, just kind of trying to keep myself flexible, keep the quads and the hamstrings and, and the lower back feeling good. If, if you guys haven't experienced yoga yet, um, I'm doing DDP yoga actually, which is actually really fun. This is not a brand deal or anything like that. Uh, I'm doing DDP yoga uh, and it's actually really refreshing. He made it with, uh, with guys in mind. It used to be called yoga for regular guys, but he started uh, rebranding it to DDP yoga a few years back. And my God, um, you know, even just the simple, like the level of wrestling that I do with the local level, the simple like aches and pains with, with the stretching and stuff goes a long way, uh, especially, you know, when you're in your thirties and stuff. So yeah, um, been doing that. I've been getting addicted to the yoga actually. Um, it's a lot of fun, stuff like that. Typically people are like, oh, yoga is for girls, blah, blah, blah. No, this is pretty intense. It's isometric. Um, it really makes your body shake, like your legs and your arms. By the time you're done, you feel like you actually lifted weights. It's it's actually a really good workout. And again, like I said, I've I've dropped a good about 20 pounds since uh, doing this for about seven weeks. That's with lowering the carb intake and stuff like that. Give or take, you know, it's my birthday, so I'm eating some cake. I already had some carrot cake. I have a different type of cake waiting for me later. Might be going out to eat and stuff like that. But, you know... The older I get, the more simple I just have my birthdays. Like today, I'm really just going to hang out with my nieces, my sister, my brother, and my parents and maybe just throw some uh, steaks out on the grill, go swimming in the pool, and kind of just watch a Netflix movie later tonight. You know, back in the day, it was always about, oh, what am I going to get? And what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Uh, I want to throw a party and this and that. Now it's like, you know, just like to keep stuff simple, you know, keep it keep it uh, low key, especially in today's environment, but no, just in general, like the last few years that I've had, um, uh, my birthdays, I've just kind of kept it really simple and stuff. The, it's the little things in life that matter, honestly, uh, the things that get lost in translation, the things that you, you don't think about quite often. So I felt, you know, today I would just take advantage of it. It's, it's not too hot. It's been, it's going to be 105 degrees, uh, Monday and Tuesday this next week which I'm not looking forward to, but today it's a cool 90, which 90 in July in Texas is actually really nice. I don't go out too much. People are like, oh, you're pale. Um, I have a farmer's tan, but it's because it's hot as fuck. If you live in San Antonio, the humidity's hot. It's hot. It's like, uh-uh, fuck that. I have the swimming pool, and that's about it. Um, but, you know, it's a nice cool day out. Going to throw some meat in the grill and stuff like that and just kind of vibe... I might come back later tonight with a live stream, a birthday live stream. If anybody wants to tune in, it'll be at like 10 p.m. Central Time. Um, I've been multi-streaming both on YouTube and Twitch. I'm about to hit 1,900 Twitch followers. Um, I have like 40 subscribers that are actually doing the subscription thing on there. Uh, awesome. I didn't even think that my Twitch was going to grow that quick, but it's been gaining some steam. I've been getting anywhere from like $150 to $200 a month with ads on there that's fucking phenomenal so you know it's not all about the money and stuff like that but for twitch to be a platform that can grow that quickly with its all the issues aside recently political issues and sjw nonsense twitch has actually been a very inviting um platform for me i i really enjoy it you know i, I always have a home with youtube but twitch was a nice compliment that i never really took advantage of and since march you know, to go from like 200 followers to 1,900 on there, it's freaking amazing. So if you guys aren't following me on Twitch yet, just twitch.tv forward slash 8-bit underscore Eric. Or you could just stay here on YouTube and watch me. I go live on both of them at the same time. So you'll be able to interact with everybody because I have a, a, a forwarding bot that will show the messages from Twitch to YouTube and YouTube to Twitch. So you get to see who's all talking and stuff like that. It's been phenomenal. I had a great stream uh, just the other day, and everybody was just so freaking supportive and stuff in there. And that's honestly what it's all about is um, uh, doing stuff for you guys. No matter how many people are watching, no matter how many people are not watching, stuff like that, 
the people that are in the moment, the people that are invested in you or investing in anything that you do in life, you should always give back to and always appreciate. And that's something that I'm starting to learn a lot more too. Um, Babe Ruth had a quote actually was, uh, the people that are in the cheap seats boo you the most because they're the ones that are least invested in you. It's the people that are invested in you that you should worry about. So, so like never care about the cheap seats, the people that aren't Investing in you, the people that don't have your back, shouldn't matter. Always focus on the people that really matter, like your friends, your family, and your true supporters, because they're the ones that are always going to be there through thick and thin. So I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you, everybody, for the past year that's been around uh, and the years before that. This is going to be a freaking phenomenal year. I'm looking forward to 36, and uh, let's see what happens. Again, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you, and uh, I'll see you next time.